Uh, greetings, Aquarius, and welcome. I hope you're all doing well, and uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. And this is an uh, energy check for my Aquarius sun, moon, and rising. And for my new viewers, uh, thank you so much for uh, jumping in with us. And for those who have come to my channel before, um, thank you so much for returning. And my name is Ingrid, and this is the theme of, of the reading for um, my of Aquarius and let's see cozy up with a risk well you're taking a risk now uh, with a, the situation you're in um, maybe taking a risk because of this red with something um, that you're very uh, secure and grounded and um, feeling in and you're taking that out and the number uh, 61 could be very important or uh, seven so something mysterious and magical is coming. And it's coming because of uh, you are magic. Well, you're kind of cozy up with this uh, new uh, feeling about being magic. And this is number one. So you're just beginning, um, maybe stepping out like the fool on the journey uh, and to be magic, to feel that magic. And it has something to do with your hands. Uh, making magic with your hands. And um, let's see what the cards have for Aquarius. <clears throat> and thank you, spirits, for overseeing this reading. And I just saw uh, the Ace of Pentacles or some new opportunity uh, coming on the horizon. You may be being offered a gift or a new uh, career offer or something, a new idea to make money. And you're the emperor. You're bossing up now. You're taking um, control of your life, Aquarius. And, and that's how you, that you're making that magic uh, with that. And it's always a risk when we become our true self. So let's see. Um, you're, the three of wands is how you're looking at the question of this uh, reading, Aquarius. And it's about uh, having had a vision. You put something out there with a lot of energy and passion. You might have been working on this very significantly uh, for uh, three months. And that's been maybe your focus. And you are magic. And you're cozying up with risk because when we take a vision out there and we're waiting to see, um, uh, do people like this? I mean, maybe you put something out on the internet uh, recently, Aquarius, and you're waiting to get feedback. Or are you getting uh, subscribers? Are you uh, getting? Um, clients to come in to take on whatever the services or the products you're offering but you're um, moving it out there with a vision and it's got a lot of a fiery energy in it because you've got another three uh, the three of uh, swords well what challenges this is uh, some a difficulty that has come about a heartbreak about the way you're seeing um, a partnership in love. There could have been a third party situation uh, that, because um, these are both the threes, that came between um, you and whatever this vision is. Uh, it could be something that needed to be severed. A relationship um, was, se uh, was severed. Uh, and that is challenging this vision. It's something about um, <clears throat> needing to heal your heart so you can take your vision forward. And uh, you're going to go for it with this fiery, cocky energy. You almost look like a daredevil as you cozy up with risk. And the, the threes are in the process of change. So uh, you are um, having a lot of momentum and energy toward whatever this passion is, Aquarius, you want to work on. Um, you want to go toward, you have a lot of momentum for and this could be connected uh, to the root of this. You won't, took something out there. You cozied up with risk. Um, and you, um, you're making magic with this vision, but somehow uh, something in your mind is holding you back. Maybe you're looking at some situation where there was um, uh, some <clears throat> uh, heartbreak, somebody, some cheating, some... Uh, a situation that was uh, just um, grief uh, uh, that you really were grieving over and that cut out uh, like almost like surgery that cut your 
heart out around whatever this vision um, was uh, that you are putting out there. Let's see. Um, and then you've got the five of wands. Well, Aquarius, there's been a lot of, of fighting and competition and arguing and in the past. And you've got uh, this sense of, um, you know, um, mental conflict, uh, competition, uh, just feeling like you have to keep on going with this fiery energy and keep believing yourself and keep moving with confidence. And, but you're gonna be the emperor and we had seen that earlier that the emperor, you're bossing up, you're taking control of your life. You're um, taking risks. The emperor has to take risks. He takes uh, very uh, intellectual risks, very uh, calculated risks, but um, takes leadership, uh, takes control, takes a power over the situation. And maybe the emperor, because it's looking down toward this three of swords, is gonna, uh, you're gonna boss up and uh, take that uh, sword out of your heart, whatever that is slicing into you, those three swords, and you're gonna uh, be the boss, uh, take command, take authority over your actions, and be willing to look at the consequences of your actions, uh, Aquarius. And you're standing up to the competition, you're gonna be successful. And you've got the four of a swords. What it's saying is, because you've got the three to the four, there's a progression. And after <clears throat> you deal with this heartbreak, with something that betrayed you, that you felt like that cut you to the core about a divorce, about an ending of a relationship, it could have involved another person, a third person that made it even more painful. But you're resting and recovering and healing and talking to your higher powers um, through meditation and prayer to get information on how best to heal uh, this uh, heart. Uh, and you're gonna heal it because of uh, the King of Cups. Well, you're gonna go deep and have deep feelings and deep emotional intelligence. As you rest, you're gonna get some information from the King of Cups that's a, someone who's very balanced with their emotions. They have deep feelings, but they don't spill them all over other people. They're like the emperor with the, who has control of his emotions as well. And it's offering love. It's someone that's very loving and generous uh, with their emotions. And he's offering this cup to this, uh, this vision you're putting out there and saying, uh, that you have a lot of deep feelings about your um, what it is you put out there. And you have been working emotionally to bring uh, that, uh, that's what you're thinking about. You're thinking a lot about how you feel about uh, this passion project um, that was um, came maybe because uh, of this three of swords, whatever the three came, it's moving you forward. Um, and now, you're seeing the uh, Seven of Cups in your environment. Well, you might be offering a lot of um, choices from people around you or your situation right now as you're coming into June. Um, the uh, influence of, of the environment is choices, choices, choices. Uh, but be careful that you don't just get um, <clears throat> entrapped in the daydreams or the fantasies of what other people are offering. Um, and to really be true to what it is you want, Aquarius, what it is you feel, what it is you value. And because maybe when you didn't do that, it led to a heartbreak, it led to uh, cheating, um, uh, and to infidelity, uh, to relationship um, collapse, to divorce. And you're gonna be having to look carefully at the choices you make coming out of your environment. Uh, because they could be, uh, you know, what they offer might not really give you what you want. And you've got the two of wands as your hope and fear that you are planning something, you've been uh, working on something, you've established something, and you want to take it out there. You feel like the world is um, out there. I want to explore. I want to travel. I want to see, um, you know, I know I've established myself here, but what about going out into the world, putting something out, maybe um, a platform on um, the internet, a YouTube channel, or doing a podcast, or uh, creating something that you are 
um, already established and feeling pretty confident about, but your hope and fear is that you can keep this plan going. And you've got the Queen of Swords. Well, the Queen is, go is saying that you've got clarity. You, you're finally seeing something, maybe getting above the clouds and seeing something Aquarius um, in June for the first time, seeing the truth um, clearly, um, seeing the truth clearly about whatever this um, a project that you're waiting to hear back from, you're waiting to see what the feedback is. Uh, that's how you're coming into June, um, but you're seeing it clearly. Uh, whatever this is, is your hope and fear of what you've planned, what you've been working on, what you established, what you want to take out there. Uh, you're going to see it with truth and clarity. And you're going to take any of the emotional um, um, baggage out of it and see it for what it is and to stand true to that. Go for the truth of it. And you're going to boss up and take command of this and be very successful. And you've got a lot of ability now to have emotional intelligence, to make the choices that are appearing to you, whether in your fantasies, daydreams, or being offered from your environment, uh, that you're going to be uh, very emotionally intelligent about it. And uh, that's what I have for my Aquarius, a very powerful reading uh, where you're going to um, have this healing of this, uh, whatever, this severance, this broken relationship, um, this heartbreak, and you're resting and healing and getting downloads and praying. And out of that is coming uh, this emotional intelligence to make good choices and to uh, stand up, um, even if you have hopes and fears about it, but stand up for what it is you have a vision for and see it truthfully and clearly. And that will lead you to uh, taking command of your life, uh, bossing up, going to a whole new timeline with whatever this um, fiery project, this passion, this uh, um, energy you're putting out there. And you are magic, Aquarius. Never forget that. And don't be afraid to cozy up with a, a risk, to uh, cozy up with this uh, Knight of Wands. And that's at the foundation to move out there and be confident and charismatic. And uh, that's what I see. And if this resonated, Aquarius, please subscribe and let me know how with the comments. And give me a thumbs up. And you know I love you. And it's always a pleasure to do a reading for my uh, fellow Aquarius. And see you next time. And enjoy uh, this a day. Bye-bye.